Okay, no, no, what are you what are you doing today? Well, today I decided to make some wine. Okay. The old fashioned way. These are grape, fresh grape from California. What what are they called? These are called Zinfandel. Red Zinfandel. Red Zinfandel. Where'd you even get this barrel? <laughs> oh, I had this for two, thirty years. It has to be all clean. So just to clarify for everybody, the way we're gonna make the wine today is a very old fashioned, old school way, the way my grandfather did as he was a child, right? Right. So right. we're gonna leave the stems in when we crush them. Typically it's not what you would do, but in this circumstance we're going to, because this is the way he was taught. So this is a really old fashioned way to make red wine. Right, okay? right. All right, let's get started. We dump one case inside here. There's boots there. But first, I take my boots out. Now, you can remove this here. Now, we dump it. Now, look for any... Mice? <laughs> anything unusual. This kind of stem is okay. But if it's thick, you have take to it remove out. it. Little bit doesn't matter. Anyway. It smells so good. These oh. See this, this is too big. Look, see this? Yeah, so you remove it? But the small one are okay. Now it's time to crush them. The old fashioned way. Where are my boots? Are those boots clean? Very clean. Not anymore, I put them on the ground. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you know how much uh, dirt is in those stems? It's a good thing you don't sell this wine. It's too expensive to sell. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Crush them. So, like suction cups. Feet down. Julian, how old are you? 27. How come you got gray hair? It's, it's, <laughs> I'm getting old. It's the shift work. It's the shift work? Yeah, that's what it is. I'm going to be fully gray by 30, is my prediction. Yeah, you're going to be totally white. Totally white. You're gonna be like Nono at 30. Yeah, that's what I think. He said that's what happened to him too, 30 yeah. years old. That's good, just leave it now. Okay. Now take a look at this, because my sight is not too good anymore. Yeah. You gotta see where the way the, the sugar should be, up to 22 grades. If it's less than this, it's not good, then you gotta add the sugar. If it's more than this, if it's 24, it's very good. So we're gonna measure now. That should be enough. Okay, now we gotta look at the sugar content. Oh, there it goes, it's going up. This is gonna be straight, the level, huh? 22. Yeah, 22. Which is exactly what you need, right? Yeah, 22 is good, even though I prefer 24. Oh wait, it's going up a little bit. Oh, 24. Okay. Yeah, it clears the red, see, that's good. It's below the red, see, that's what I said before. Mm. Grape juice. So Wine grape juice is the best. It's so sweet, Zinfandel. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> no, could you imagine we had to do all that by, by foot? No way. Yeah, in the old days. Be here all day. In the old days, that's what we did. But not just five cases, maybe 50, 100 cases. So we're going to do the rest of them with the machine. When I came in Canada in 1956, I bought this machine here which is a crusher. This crushes the grapes. So I no longer have to do it with my boots. I use the machine. Then in the end, in the 90, which is now, I don't even use this anymore. I buy juice ready-made. Oh. Here. Now we do the... Now we do the 90s way? No, this is the 60s. 60s. So what was that one? The, the 50s. The fit 1950. Yeah. Holy cow. So now we're going to do it the 60s way. Yeah. There it goes.
What is this switch? What is going? Did you make this? This so made, yeah. This is a switch. Yeah, a switch. Yeah. A dustpan. Mm. Doesn't matter. Now I I leave it here for four days. It starts to ferment right away. Then twice a day. I gotta come here with this gadget. I push it down because now what's gonna happen? All the grape is gonna is gonna as, as it ferment comes up, and then you gotta turn it over. Otherwise, it gets the air, makes vinegar. I cover it up so minimizes the mosquito. Otherwise, this will be full of mosquito. Uh, there. Mosquitoes or bees? Both. Fruit flies. Fruit, Fruit flies. flies. Yeah. See you in four days. Yeah. All right, everybody, so we're back. So since we crushed the grapes, it's been five days, and now we are going to, what's the next step? Press, separate the, the, the stems from the juice and press the stems there. Okay, so that's the next step, and that's what we're gonna do today. Yeah, I left this open so for the fumes to go out. I did this every day, three times a day. I did this, look, I push it down, because all of the stems come up, right? So no, no, is this, is this the proper way to make wine? Well, everybody that I know makes wine differently. Yeah. For me, I was taught to do this way. May not be the proper way, but it's the way I do it. Could be wrong or right, I don't know, but comes out good every year, so. This is the way that you learned? That's the way I learned, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we have to separate the stem from the juice. Watch your hands. So which one becomes the wine? The, this or the, ju this, the juice, right? Just the juice, yeah. This is all garbage after? After, when it's pressed, yeah. Makes it good uh, for the soil, you know. I was taught that each grape is attached here. The flesh around each grape stems. There's meat on each stem, There's yeah. meat, and the meat has got lots of tannin, which you need to make wine. Tannins? Tannin. That's why I do it. Uh, the stems. That's what you do with the stems, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Ooh. This may be the last time I do Now, let me this out. I don't want the juice to spill. Here, yeah, bring over there. Where do you want it? Inside of the juice. Go ahead. Dump it. Go ahead, move it, remove it. Okay, now, start with the first one there. Pour inside here. Jesus. Okay, put the other one on the other side. If it doesn't fit, just move this around a little bit. The other, yeah, this is good. You gotta put it like, like this. The curve, yeah, the curve, the curve like that is good. Across it, like that. No, if they break or something. These are homemade, see? This way? Yeah, that way. This is crazy. So why do you need this above here, the wood? What's the purpose? Above this? Because this does not go below this. When right. this reaches here, it stops. That's the salt. I may, I may need more because it, I have so little there. And it creates more pressure. So this uh, may not. May, I may need more of these because pretty soon this reaches here and then it doesn't press anymore. Now when it reaches there, it stops spinning. With one hand you hold the wood. Here? Yeah. Because you don't want that to move, right? Okay, pretty soon it's going to touch it. Yeah, it's touching. Okay, right. now, with one hand you hold this, like this. Move this around, like this. See? As they go down, yeah. 
that makes it turn, see? So the entire purpose of this press is just to squeeze every last drop out. You got it. That's it. That's it. No waste. No waste. Try it. That is delicious. Mm. It's good juice. That is very good juice. Yeah. That means it's gonna be good wine, right? Yeah, I hope so. Oh, that's what that metal bowl was. Okay. Now see how easy it is. Go ahead. Oh, this is like butter. This is like not like you can move the finger. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Let it catch and then you do this. Let it catch. So you don't damage the pins. Porno, good. Yeah. I can't believe how much extra juice we squeeze out of these grapes. Oh yeah. That's crazy. So imagine if you have a five, Full. five tons yeah. of as many grapes and then the juice you get. Now we turn this around. Now this comes up. Go ahead, do it. When it's easy, re remove this and do by hand. Until this goes up there. Okay, now we have to remove these. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are a little hard. Okay. Now do the same on the other side. Okay, now we remove these. These are heavy, yeah? They're big pieces. All that is gonna go inside here. Okay? This is what I do. Okay. I got a big piece, see? Eh? Look how it breaks apart, eh? It's crazy. Yeah, you gotta break it up. Like this. We, we're gonna press again. Oh. In the old days, we used to do this at least two times. You gotta get. When you do this the second time, it's so hard that you cannot do it by hand. You need a pick to bring it up. They're pretty dry. You may think nothing comes out of it, you're going to be surprised. Yeah. Watch your hands. You doing it right? Yep. Okay. So it's one day to crush it, you, right? You crush it and then you let it ferment. For how Usually, many days? I always did three days, but this year I did five days. Okay. Because I like to try something different. Right. And uh, after five days, we press it. Press it. And that's a whole day event. And that's a whole day event. When it's lots. When there's lots. Every, every, every hour you leave it, you go to something else, then you come back and press it. Then you leave again. So that's why your friends would play cards, you'd hang out, that's it. come back, press some more. Yeah. It's a whole we day. Drink, we get drunk. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the experience, right? That's right. If you want to make sweeter, then you crush the grapes and the, the juice right away goes into the damage line. You Oh yeah? So that yeah. makes it sweeter wine? That makes sweeter wine. So the longer it sits, the drier it is. Yes. 
Oh, so this is going to be very dry wine then. I hope so. Sat for five days. That's why I want to try that. So if I wanted it to be sweet, we would press it right away, and the same day you put it in Tommy John? Is, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? All in one day? All in one day. Oh. That's called vino crudo. That means it's not fermented with the stems. I don't know one time, I didn't like it. So now we're going to bring this. In the damage jam, in the wine cellar. In the wine cellar, in the big container. So we got to first si siphon it into these buckets, right? Yeah. And we're going to bring it downstairs. That's right. Okay. Okay, easy. A little bit more. Okay, that's enough. Okay, so what's going on here? You gotta keep it below because this still ferment. So it's gonna raise. It's gonna raise up. Okay, this is a fermentation lock. It's got water inside. The gas from the fermentation goes up. It bubbles, make a bubble. But air cannot get in. But air can get out. This is called the fermentation lock. Put it in. Make it nice and tight. Now as the gas builds up, you should be able to see a bubble coming up. But because the heavy fermentation is done, this is very slow fermentation. So it may not be too many bubbles. Then when the fermentation is over, you got to fill it in with, because you got to keep it at this level. It's going to be a high level at all times? All the time. Now after maybe three months, from here it goes to another one. And then you got to keep some juice in the gallon like this one, because next spring goes down even more and you have to refill it with the same juice. Right. So I keep some just for refilling the damage. To top it off. Top it off. But it's going to stay in there, and the next one is going to stay in for one year. And then after that, it stays for one year. It's not fermenting. Okay, so now we're all done here, everybody. So now it's, we're in October now. It's going to stay in this, what we call a Tommy John, this glass container, yeah. until about springtime, you said, right? And before the, the warm weather comes. Before the warm weather comes, and then that's when you're going to put it in a different container. Yeah. So Because all the sediment's going to go to the bottom. That's right. And then once it goes in that container, it's going to stay in there until it's done. How long do we drink the wine? Do we taste it? Oh, we can, we can taste the uh, next Christmas. So a year from this December, basically. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So stay tuned, we'll be trying it then. That's right. <laughs> this taste isn't right after like the cooking, it's gonna be a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next year when we make a different type of wine. For now, goodbye. And next year, We'll be taste testing it, but for now it's got to ferment. Don't forget to uh, like, comment, and subscribe, okay? It really helps us out. Thank you.